Hello students, I am Dr. Somit Deh and you are watching my YouTube channel where I have, I uploaded videos for engineering mathematics which will help BTEC student as well as BSc and other branches of student where we can see some uh, higher mathematics. If you are preparing for any competitive exam where higher mathematics is asked my YouTube channel is very helpful for you. So already have uploaded some videos. So you can watch there. And if you can see any part is good or it is helpful, please subscribe my channel as well as you should share all of your friends to all of your friends. Today I'll discuss the second solution, second problem solution based on Bernoulli's equation. Okay, so any problem is there, please let me inform through WhatsApp or through mail. Okay, now please write down the second question from Bernoulli's equation. Please write down. This is very very important question for you. Please write down dy dx plus y log y by x is equals to y log y whole square by x square. So this is famous question you have. Okay. So now we are going to discuss how to solve it. Basically, this problem is belongs to Bernoulli's equation. This problem is a Bernoulli's equation. Now, our objective to transform this Bernoulli's equation to a linear, then solve it. Okay. Now try to understand the given the given differential the given differential the given differential equation is. So please write down dy dx plus y log y by x is equals to y log y whole square by x square. Correct. Now anyone please tell me what will be the next step. If you know from the previous video. Now anyone. Yes. On the right side, whatever the total y function you have, first you have to divide throughout. So here we have total y function, y log y whole square. So first you have to divide this, y log y whole square into dy by dx plus y log y by y log y whole square into x is equals to 1 by x square clear now if we can simplify it is coming y log y whole square dy by dx plus this y y is cancel log y log y whole square you have if i can cancel it it is coming 1 by x log y is equals to 1 by x square. So this is number equation number 1 and this is number equation number 2. Okay. So if it is confirmed that right hand side part is free from y. Now you move to the next part. This is this area. Whatever the y term you have. I am not talking about the sign. I am talking about only y term. So that part you should consider as a z. Clear? So what is your y term? Shall I move to the next slide? So here, what is your y term? 1 by log y. Okay, very good. So please write down, let 1 by log y is equals to z. Clear? Now, so all of you know the derivative. Basically, you have log y to the power minus 1 is equals to z. 
now we have to differentiate with respect to x then first you have to uh, differentiate with respect to power then log then variable okay so ultimately it is coming minus 1 that is your log of y to the power minus 2 into now your power derivative is over now log derivative what is your log derivative it is coming 1 by y now you differentiate y that is your dy by dx is it clear to all of you i repeat once again so first you have, your power is there first you have to differentiate this to power that is coming minus 1 log y to the power minus 2 already you know now you differentiate that log y which is your 1 by y now you differentiate y that is your dy dx so if you simplify it is coming minus if you multiply it is coming log y whole square into dy by dx is equals to dz by dx please check please check so already i have i have informed that when you differentiate that your assumption part you will get the first term of the last equation just you check 1 by y log y whole square dy dx is available with you just you check clear is it okay it is the it is the indication it is the indication that your calculation is absolutely correct now you substitute all in equation number two okay so next slide so let me to the next slide is it okay next we move to the next slide so you may write substituting all substituting all in two we get so ultimately it is coming from 2 minus dz by dx minus dz by dx plus z by x is equals to 1 by x square so next you may write dz by dx minus z by x is equals to minus 1 by x square this is number 4 so what is this which is a which is a linear differential equation differential equation differential equation of z with respect to with respect to x okay so now you compare with the uh, general form dz by dx plus pxz is equals to qx this is number 5 equation number all are clear hmm. 1 2 oh sorry this will be the 3 then 4 then 5 okay so now write down comparing comparing 4 and 5 we get what is your px px is equals to minus 1 by x what is your qx is equals to minus 1 by x square now i think it is clear to everyone now i'm giving some time to solve it now it is clear what is your px and what is your qx now try to solve what will be the next slide or what will be the next line so please write down your next line will be integrating factor very good e to the power next line will be e to the power sorry if is equals to e to the power px into dx that is e to the power minus 1 by x into dx it is coming into the power minus log x e to the power log minus 1 is become coming x to the power minus 1 that is 1 by x so this is your integrating factor now we write down the solution the solution is the solution is uh, z into integrating factor is equals to integration sign qx into integrating factor whole dx plus c now 
z is here what is your integrating factor 1 by x is equals to what is your q minus 1 by x square please check what is your q 1 by x square into 1 by x into dx plus c so ultimately it is coming z by x is equals to minus is outside 1 by z cube dx plus c please check please check please check is it okay okay now what is your integrating integration part z by x is equals to minus sign is here z to the power minus 3 plus 1 by minus 3 plus 1 plus c okay clear shall i move to the next slide okay okay i can wait now please write down line by line because here we are considering x to the power minus 3 into dx 1 by x cube you have you may write x to the power minus 3 correct the formula is x to the power uh, n what is the formula n plus 1 by n plus 1 i have used the same process clear Now, after simplification, what is coming up? It is coming z by x. So, your minus minus 2 is coming, minus minus plus, and it is coming uh, 1 by 2. Uh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. It should be x, na? It should be x, sorry. So, it is x cube, huh? So ultimately x to x cube to the power minus 1 that is your x to the power minus 3 plus 1 by minus 3 plus 1. Okay. So if I can rewrite this. So ultimately it is coming uh, minus sign is absorbed minus 2 is coming up minus minus that is coming. Uh, please write down x square plus c. Please check that will be the answer. Okay, now you replace your z. What is your z? Z equals to how much? 1 by log x. So here you may write x log y. Z. What is your log uh, z? What is your z? Z is equals to 1 by log y. Correct. So please write down 1 by 2x square plus c. Since z is equals to 1 by log y okay so it is a solution what is c c is a constant where c is a constant integration constant you may write okay is it clear Please check line by line. Hmm. Now you should write some homework. So everyone, this is my request to all of you. Every time you have to do some homework. Now you are right, giving some same type question. So please write down dy dx plus sin 2y by x is equals to x cube cos square y x cube cos square y clear now anyone can tell me what is your extra term you have on the right side anyone yes very good it is your cos square y then what do you do you have to differentiate you have to divide throughout this differential equation by cos square y after getting the confirmation that your right hand side part is free from y then you move to the next part after division i'm talking about after division by cos square y whatever the y term you will get 
in second term in second position so that part you should consider as a z okay then if you can differentiate this and automatically you will get the first term of the revised form okay just you check it now you can i can uh, write down one part that is your i can help you that is your cos square 1 by cos square y dy dx plus sin 2y by x into cos square y is equals to x cube okay so that part you should simplify now please check sin y sin 2y what is the value 2 sin y cos y okay now you divide so you may write sin 2y by 2 sin y cos y and you divide by uh, cos square y if i divide by cos square y if i divide by cos square y what is coming up you basically it is coming to tan y okay clear so now you have to consider tan y as a z okay you should complete your homework everyone please try to complete your homework just you try to understand whether your concept is clear or not if it is clear it's okay if it is not please review the lecture again and again okay thank you please do subscribe my channel and share this video to all of your friends thank you